I am going to teach you on how to set up the new Zebra Barcode Printer, which is the ZD230. Okay, so this is the ZD230 Desktop Barcode Printer. So this is the replacement model for the old Zebra Barcode Printer, which is the GT800. Okay, so the printer power port and the USB interface are located at the rear part of the printer. Above the printer is the uh, media feed or advanced buttons. Okay, so let's try to turn on the printer. Hold the power button to turn it on. Then you'll notice that when I press the media feed or advanced button, it flashes red light. So why? Because it doesn't have a media and a ribbon. Okay, so let's try to insert a media and a ribbon to our desktop barcode printer okay so first is we have the ribbon core adapters okay then the ribbon okay so let's attach the ribbon to the ribbon core adapters So you insert it in the hole of the media hole. Okay, so take note of this. So this is the ribbon supply spindle so this is where the unused ribbon is placed and above it is the take up spindle the ribbon take up spindle so this is where you put the used or this is where the used ribbon okay and take note for the uh, ribbon make sure that the the glossy part you know it's inside okay so let's put the ribbon on the okay so as you can see the glossy part is in the back part not in the front part, okay? Okay. And roll the uh, take-up spindle to make sure that all the use part, the use part of the V1 are in the take up spindle okay so align the ribbon make sure it's okay okay next is the uh, the, rib, uh, the roll the sticker roll okay so place the label media in the roll holder Then push the media under both of the media guide. So here, is, here are the media guides. Okay. Okay. Then close the printer.
Then for media calibration, so you need to press the um, the media feed or the advanced button, hold it and release it after the status light flashes twice. Okay, so let's try. Okay, so Zebra Z230 is plug and play, so there's no need for you to install printer drivers. Just insert the USB to the device, then wait for the machine to recognize the printer. Okay, then let's try to test print. Okay. So next is we're going to try to print uh, barcode. Okay, so let's try to create a new label. So in here you're going to select which barcode printer you're going to use. So in my case, I'll choose ZD230. Then select stock for me none. Then here is you select the page size. So in my case, I am using a nine centimeters by three centimeters for my media. Then orientation is portrait. Print direction depends on your case. Okay. In here. Since you're going to not, since if you notice that my media has three columns, so I will divide the uh, nine centimeters by three. So I'll use three centimeters for my width. Then I'm going to make three columns and finish. Okay, so going to try to add a barcode so input the embedded data in the barcode whichever you like let's resize the barcode let's put it here okay. can we put text yes we can Try to print this design. So let's go to file, then print. Okay, for the quantity, since I'm using a media that has three columns, so I will put three so I can use all the columns. So there's no waste in media. Okay, let's print. Okay, so you can see can you see? Okay. So to know more about our product you may visit our website at www.autopost.com.ph or email us at inquiry at Stay safe and see you on the next one.